everybody. Uh, so it's teardown time again. We got a, another part from the um, grass instrument polygraphs. Um, this is uh, got a label on the top. It says grass mechanical timer. So I'm not expecting too much in this, to be honest. Um, this was plugged into the chart recorder that was on its own. Um, it, this wasn't plugged into anything. The wire just went down the back and um, it probably plugged into the power supply. Um, not entirely sure because it, uh, as I said, it was just it was just dangling. So um, I thought we'd just do a quick uh, quick have a look at this and um, see what is actually on the inside. Right, so we have got um, an aluminium base. Uh, interesting, we've got 50 hertz written on there. We've got a uh, power cable with uh, label on it M P M T 8A. Whatever that means. Um, we've got a label on the front, um, grass mechanical timer, blah, 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 serial number, model MT8A. Let's just have a quick look inside. Right, uh, that all looks pretty simple. Um, <laughs> not a lot in here. Right, so we've got uh, a power cord or some kind of uh, cable coming in. Um, purple is attached to the chassis, so that would be earth, presumably. Um, we've got a, a small transistor there mounted in a little socket. That is an... Um, um, MPS A66. Um, we've got a small little um, tag tag board here with a few connections on it. Um, we've got we've got what looks like a, an incandescent lamp, a light sensor, another tag board. Uh, we've got um, a. 50 hertz uh, synchronous motor there, so uh, so I guess that rotates this this wheel with with uh, small slits in. Interestingly, one is larger than the other than the other one, two, three, four, five. So there's five in total, with one being larger than the other ones, and that just moves past. The uh, the light bulb, which is it is a light bulb actually, it's not an LED. We've got uh, probably a photo cell, or, um, photo diode or something underneath. So presumably this um, this runs and just basically just creates a um, a time period and then sends a signal out to turn something on or turn something off, I guess. So we've got um, purple going to earth, red comes over to the transistor we've got then white and green they come over to these two points here okay so those go directly to the motor and we also have a large capacitor here which is a 15 15 volt um, 750 microfarad so that comes off one of these lines coming in here connects back up to this tag here which has a resistor on it we've got a connection off going to um, this tag board here that then connects to the photo sensor uh, we've got a component just there that I can't see what it is it might be a diode actually so I guess if there's no separation here so if, if the power is applied all the time then the motor is going to run all the time um, then just making a pulse signal come out on the red wire um, yep, that's about it in here. Just 
down in here, we've got a, one of the wires which runs to this tag board actually caught in the standoff. The wire has been pinched. It's not gone through, um, and that looks like it's been there right from the word go. The motor, yes, it is a synchronous motor. Oh, it's 12 volts, 50 hertz. So, not mains. Uh, I've also just noticed that the capacitor here seems to be dated um, 1969. Week 42, 1969. So, it's quite a few years before the, uh, the actual polygraph. Right, I don't think there's anything more, more to see in here. Um, that's about it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.